when we talk about the patient selection that is something very important for these patients with lumbar spinal stenosis or lumbar canal stenosis because if you have a poor patient selection these patients don't do good so proper patient selection is very much critical in getting a good outcome with spinal stenosis surgery so you know what is the definition of this ideal patient so this ideal patient is a patient who is having neurological claudication which includes pain numbness paresthesias in the posterior lateral legs and thighs that is associated with prolonged walking or with activities that causes the back extension such as walking up of stairs so the patient who will come to you classically with neurogenic claudication be it the pain the numbness or paresthesias in the legs and thighs which is associated with walking or the activities which would naturally cause a back extension so for example walking up the stairs so these are the patients who would be the best ideal patients for the surgery these symptoms now may also manifest as cramping or exhaustion of the lower extremities so these particular patients you know would also complain of night cramps generally and you know as they are walking they feel uneasiness or they easily get exhausted exhausted with respect to the lower extremities lower extremity symptoms secondary to vascular claudication may should be ruled out you should always be checking for the distal uh, pulses whether they are felt or not and also whether they are having any symptoms that are suggestive of any vascular form of claudication